A fire burning in North Idaho has doubled in size overnight. The CCC fire is burning more than 400 acres right now, about two miles north of Cataldo. That's right up against the Coeur d'Alene River. Yeah, a few roads in the area are closed, but there are no evacuation notices issued at this time. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Now, firefighters at the CCC fire say the rain that we've been getting has been helping to maintain the flames and contain mm -hmm. that area for sure, but they're still facing quite a few challenges. Crime 2 Shana Walltower has more on their progress. Yeah, if you look just over my shoulder here, you can see a hill with a large plume of gray of what you can't really tell is smoke or water vapor. But for crews, this has been a very good sign as there's so much moisture in the air that's able to settle on top of this land here. They say it's been a large progression point for them over this past day. It just kind of puts a lid on the fire, so it, it really holds everything in check. It gives us this real stable atmosphere. It's the break the 275 firefighters working these flames have needed. Yesterday afternoon, it was fairly tough for us, you know, um, with those conditions. So, um, but today, you know, it's a, a whole different ball game. Hot temperatures and low humidity made yesterday quite the challenge as crews work to find even a safe point to anchor down and canvas the area. But today, these teams received some help on fighting these flames from the sky, the rain. It's not really putting them out. It's just giving us an opportunity to get in there and remove that fuel from the fire's edge. This means crews can get the fire more contained, and it's still a lot of work to do and new challenges these crews are facing. It's in new country that firefighters haven't been on until this morning. Charting new territory takes time, but they say they're working the perimeter of the flames now. Following the black edge as closely as they can, they're progressing well as we speak. It's the progress they're hoping will continue in the coming days. In Cataldo, Shana Walltower, Crim 2 News.